In this lecture, we will configure or wire all the data access layer beans in the Spring configuration file. I have provided you with a skeleton file. If you go to src main web app web inf, that is where all the configuration files should go along with the web.xml. The db context.xml is the Spring configuration file for configuring our database beans. You could name this file whatever you want, doesn't matter. I will show you this file name goes into the web.xml. Double click to maximize. It has the root element which every Spring, co spring configuration has, beans along with all the Spring namespaces from which we can use the elements within the beans element. The very first bean we are going to define is the data source bean. So bean id is equal to a data source. This data source is required for the JDBC template to work. So we'll inject this data source bean into the JDBC template later on. Class is equal to within double quotes org dot spring framework dot jdbc dot data source dot driver manager data source. So this class in the Spring API is responsible for giving us database connections. Enter. We need to tell this class or inject into this class the properties that it needs like the driver class name, the driver URL, etc. So property. Whenever we use property, this is setter injection. So we are inside this class. There will be setter methods with these property names which we are using here. The first one is driver class name. This is the JDBC driver class name we want to use. The value is equal to within double quotes com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. You can end this right here. Next property name is equal to the db url the name of it is url to connect to the database value is equal to within double quotes jdbc colon mysql colon two forward slashes local host this is the machine where mysql is running colon 3306 which is the default port number for mysql slash my db that is the database name for my database if you are on a different database if you are using oracle this string will change you can google and find out what the string is close this element right here two more properties property name is equal to within double quotes user name username to connect to the database value is equal to root in my case is the username and the last property name is equal to password and value is equal to test you need to configure the values for your database appropriately close it right there control shift f2 format remove any unwanted spaces so that's the data source bean. The next bean we are going to define is the JDBC template, which we need in the product DAO impl. Right here, we need to inject it here. So we need to configure it in the Spring XML before we inject it. Bean ID is equal to JDBC template. Class is equal to, once again, the class is in Spring API. If you go back to your DAO impl, you can grab this class from here, org spring framework JDBC core JDBC template. Paste it and close it right there. But we need to inject the property, so don't close it. Enter, less than symbol, close it right there. And then only one property, property name is equal to data s capital source and use uh, attribute called ref. If you hit control space, it will show you all the attributes. Reference. We're going to refer 
to the bean we have instantiated here or we have asked spring to instantiate so data source close that ref right there the last and final is our DAO we need to configure the DAO as well in the DB context so that we can later on inject this DAO into our web services layer class so bean ID is equal to call it product DAO class is equal to within double quotes go to product DAO impl grab the package name come back paste it dot product DAO IMPL this has a property again we are using setter injection throughout so property name is equal to JDBC template ref is equal to within double quotes the B name is also JDBC template the B ID close it right there control shift F to format so in this lecture we have configured all the three beans that are required for the data access layer to function